Alrighty, well, good evening everybody, and once again, it's cast time. You know, actually, I probably would have gotten this started sooner, um, but what, um, I decided to totally and completely on a whim, uh, switch to a totally different background, um, but this, this was just something I came up with the last minute, um, actually, I came up with it while putting this cast together, so I just want to try this out, see how well it goes, um, if you guys like it or hate it, just let me know in the comments. So, but like I said, um, this wasn't planned out. I just, I just came, I just, I had a, I had a weird realization that I think, um, what I'm doing, the way I do my visuals and stuff are, yeah, the way I do my visuals, uh, slash flashcards, um, it's, it's always, almost looks like I'm scrapbooking the way, you know, again, for those that have seen my other cast, the way I set everything up. It kind of feels like I'm scrapbooking. So, so yeah, I thought I'd go ahead and just uh, make a background kind of based on that. So, but, uh, anyway, um, uh, like, and like always, I got some music playing in the background. Um, this time the band is called, oh, like U-L-K, oh, and it's their, um, uh, it's their self-titled album. It came out in like 2019 or something like that. Just gonna have that running in the background. There. So, let's, so let's get her underway. Um, but anyway, uh, today's stream, uh, as I didn't really have much energy um, yesterday or this morning, got some really bad sleep. Uh, for one, my left arm started hurting again, started hurting, so I couldn't really find a comfortable position. Um, no matter what position I slept in, my arm, my left arm was still hurting. And then, um, not to mention, uh, yesterday or the day before, it's like the bottom dropped on the thermometer or something. Because it, it went from like the 70s and 80s down to like the 50s and 60s. And on top of that, they didn't, uh, they didn't turn on the heat in my apartment complex yet. I'm hoping they're going to soon, but yeah, it, it's like 65 degrees in my apartment. So it was, yeah, so it was a bit on the frigid side. I'm, um, yeah, I had to, I had to wear uh, jogging pants, I had to wear socks, I had to wear a freaking hoodie. Because it's just so cold in my apartment. So, but otherwise, like I said, um, got some really bad sleep. So, yeah, it, I pretty much had no choice but to play I Lean to Rule of the Gods like I did yesterday. So, I wasn't going to try playing Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, it crashed twice yesterday, so it's a no-go on that. Um, there was something else I was wanting to say about that, too, but, but, uh, Anyway, even if um, even if there was any other active games that um, you know, that that actually wouldn't crash on me, like recently pinball, um, I wasn't gonna be able to stream it. It's just I'm just too cold and tired. So about all I could do was uh, was an idle game. Um, but it was. It was some, um, most of the session was actually spent, uh, watching podcasts. Um, I listened to a little bit of music, but, uh, the rest, the rest of the session, though, um, Uncle Joey, uh, Uncle Joey's joint. Hold on one moment, one moment. <sighs> okay, pardon the interruption. Um, anyway, but, um, watched, uh, Uncle Joey's joint for about an hour. Um... Then, um, and then uh, one of my YouTube recommendations popped up. Uh, it was an, it was an earlier episode of, um, I think, uh, his early podcast, The Church of What's Happening Now. But it was a video that came out like five years ago. Uh, it had Henry Rollins, one of the, you know, one of the biggest influences of my life. Um, he was on, he was on the program, so I fired him up and watched that for about an hour, hour and a half, so doing some podcasting and I guess while I'm here I'm gonna and I currently have a game 
going on right as we speak. So let me uh, let me uh, tweak this real fast. Check it up here, and yes, we're losing clones. I can't, I can't lose any clones, cause, cause, move that fast. because I'm gonna be focusing solely on creating elements. It's kind of like I said in yesterday's video, um. Oh, and uh, while I'm here, something else I totally forgot to mention, too. Um, unlike a lot of other games that have this kind of mechanic where you have, where, uh, where there's crafting, where you can you know, craft items. Um, unlike other games, if you wanted to create, say, if I wanted to create, say, Animal, most other games, if you click, you know, create it and if you didn't have the resources for it it would just say unable to create no resources build more resources you know click can't create click you know it would just keep saying no and no and no and no and no in this game here you can do it you know so I, I just clicked animal and what it's gonna do see since animal if uh, 15 water 9 plant 3 fish but it, what's what's doing now? It's gonna go through and make all those resources that I need to make a to make an animal. So yeah, this, this is a big time quality of life, awesome right here. Because it also means I don't have to, I don't have to be, I don't have to whip out the calculator and calculate exactly, you know. How many of what? How many water I need? Then I have to multiply that because you need three air to create one water, and you know, it uh, it spares me a spares me this logistical nightmare. I could just go right down here and just click animal, and the game will automatically start making all the resources I need. So yeah, big quality of life improvement. But but as as I don't need animal, I'll just go back here and click soil. And it's gonna convert. It's gonna convert convert all this stone I was making into soil. Not even close to getting a rebirth. So, oh. yeah, I'll yeah, I'll just leave this the way it is. But like I said, I can't uh. I can't go two balls deep into fighting enemies, cause in this area here, like I said yesterday, if you when you if you start overextending yourself, you'll actually start killing off your clones, which is counterproductive. So and then I totally forgot about this. Um You can build monuments. They uh, increase uh, your appropriate multiplier. Like this is gonna increase my physical multiplier. It's gonna increase my attack power. Now, Mystic Garden, I won't. I need a lot of water and a lot of plants. So I'm not even gonna think about this one here. So, but but anyway, um, but yeah, I think um, that's that on that.
and then also, um, I did manage to do some pinball today. Um, FX3. Um, I I was gonna work on the matchup tables like usual, but because we're so far into the league week, the the scores I'd have to beat are gonna be a lot higher than normal. So I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to beat them. I didn't play any of the matchup tables because uh, for those that don't know, whenever um whenever whenever you fail to beat a high score, you drop down on the rankings a little bit. And I need a I gotta take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Hold on. So anyway, um but yeah, I didn't I didn't do any matchup tables. I'm at a I think I'm I'm stable enough. I'm far enough into the blue to where um I should be I should be able to maintain my place this week. I don't have to worry about dropping down to silver two or anything. I'm at silver one rating right now. So uh, but one thing one thing I did do, I did um I also did a tournament. Did a tournament and like yesterday, I won it. So, it was another, this, it was the, um, Avengers table. Kind of hard to, kind of hard to explain, because I don't have the game, like, right in front of me. Um, but it's, it's kind of a tough table, because if the ball drains, you're going to have to wait at least, you got to wait about 10 seconds or so to get another ball. There's this little... There's this little animation song and dance that the table does before launching the ball, before plunging it. So, if the ball drains, you're going to lose a lot of time. Remember, this is a five. I have to get as good a score as possible in five minutes. So, but luckily, like I said, um, I, I be beat it to number one. So. Then, um, Pinball Arcade. Um... This time around, despite uh, despite the input lag that I've had to deal with, I actually did okay, consider you know considering what I was up against, because like I said, the input lag was pretty bad, and uh, and and I ended up ha ended up blowing a fair amount of shots because input lag would kick in at most at the most in, at the most inopportune time. So, but it was. I think I performed good enough to go ahead and upload the session to YouTube, so it, it's up right now. I think there was something else I was wanting to say about that, too. Can't remember what. But anyway, um, and oh, I forgot to mention, um, today is the last day for the FX3 matchup week. So tomorrow, um, tomorrow it's going to be a new week, new tables, and I just got to hope that uh, next week was, actually that's going to be a pretty tall order now that I think about it, because I think three out of four tables this week was actually uh, pretty conducive for a matchup. So yeah, next week. Next week's gonna be a pretty tough order, cause like I said, these the four tables that I got this week, with the exception of the ET one, um, the other three were, again, you could you have the potential of getting a decent score on them, and I guess kind of best of all, oh, I gotta do something, I gotta do something, hold on. Yeah, I gotta. This is only like a 20 minute album, so I had a I had to go back and loop it. In case I go a little over long on this. So yeah, I just gotta hope that the uh, that next week's tables aren't gonna be too bad. Yeah, because there's some pretty rough. There's they uh, they put up some pretty rough tables here over the years that I've been playing FX3. Anyway, that is that on that. And then um, one other, 
one other thing too. Um, one of my favorite YouTube channels, Alpha Beta Gamer. They he posted up a new game. It was like a, a hybrid between Dark Souls. Played it. Not a fan of it. Um, and then uh, another game called The Stanley Parable. I've I've heard I've heard that name being tossed around from time to time. Um, never. And the the name actually did kind of sound familiar. I I want to say I've seen it before. So I just just went ahead and I uh, watched a watched a gameplay run through of that game, and I'm like, holy shit! I'm like, yeah, I think I've uh, I think I watched a small part of this game like many years ago. It, I mean, it, yeah, it, it's freaking hot. It, oh, how can I put this? It it had it had Planescape Torment written all over it. I mean, because me, like a lot of other people, Planescape Torment is probably one of my favorite RPGs. Although, after I've actually streamed it, and it actually plays out more like a visual novel than it does a than it does an actual RPG. But it's still there, though. I mean, it. I mean, if if you're a writer. Um, any kind of any kind of storyteller, I guess. Um, you know, like maybe, maybe if I was to ever actually, actually play some D and D, you know, Dungeons and Dragons, and if I was to actually ever like run run my own game, when it, you know when it, when I get to a comfortable position where I can do the basics of you know running my own games and stuff like that, this is definitely going to be on my template, Stanley Parable. I mean, there's so many different ways of narrating a story. So many different ways of telling it, you know. Um, you know, so many different types of stories, you know. It just... But I, I think if you're a writer, filmmaker, you know, filmmaker, screenwriter, um, author, you know, you know, etc. You know, any anything along those lines, you know, creating any kind of literature. I think... Um, People need to either check out Planescape Torment and or the Stanley Parable. But like I said, Stanley Parable, it, it's really it's really hard to explain unless you actually see the game. I might post a link to the game. I don't know if I remember to. Um, but yeah, like I said, Stanley Parable had to have been patterned off of uh, Planescape Torment. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take another drink real quick. So and then, and also now that I think about it, since these days, since I've pretty much been streaming uh, nothing but idle games, I might give Planescape Torment another go. I did stream this game for a while. I mean, in case I didn't say this uh, earlier, I, I actually streamed this for a while. But one, I think, um, just again, it plays out more like a visual novel. So it's just a whole lot of reading, you know, not that much, not that much gaming. And then, and then, and then it, um, for, for the actual, for the moments where there's actual gaming, um, I think combat slowed to a crawl because, um, I had a, I'll try to explain this as best I can, but, uh, you, uh, you can you can set aspects of that game to auto pause to where it automatically pauses like say whenever whenever you're about to cast a spell whenever your opponent is about to cast a spell um, whenever you deal damage and actually hit your opponent or when your opponent hits you so you can um you can set the game to auto pause to automatically pause whenever these or any other multitudes of events occur. Um, when I streamed it, I I think I had the game set to auto-pause whenever whenever any one of my party members took took damage. Um, I also had it set to auto-pause whenever I think whenever anybody cast a spell so I could actually 
I can actually read the text, I can read the spell, what's being cast, and who it's being cast on, but basically, it, it, it's, it, when I play it, it slows to a crawl, because like I said, I read everything. So, this, and I think, um, I think people are actually leaving, leaving my stream because of it. It just, you know, again, a lot of reading and a lot of, a lot of reading and a lot of watching and a lot of analyzing and stuff like that. A lot of strat, a lot of strategizing. So it's just way too slow paced for most people. But now, again, since uh, the con, uh, to, you know, the recent context, due to, due to the recent context, you know, me playing mostly idle games, might as well just keep playing Scape Torment another go now. Because, like I said, as it is, most of what I'm playing now are idle games. So, may just as well go ahead and, uh, go ahead and, uh, give Torment another go. But, oh, and, um, uh, also that's another thing, too. I think another reason why, why I ended up having to quit streaming that game is because, uh, I was fairly liberal with cheats. I didn't, I didn't use anything like Infinite Health you know, or God mode or anything like that, but I used, I used the, uh, teleport cheat a lot. Um, you could, uh, put your mouse, you could put your mouse pointer on a certain place on a map, or on the map, excuse me. Um, I think it's control, I want to say control T, and it automatically teleports you and everybody else to that point. I use that a lot, because sometimes going from point A to point B, Otherwise, you could be sitting there a long time trying to wait for your guys to go from one side of the map all the way to the other. So, just using the teleport sheet just saved a lot of time. Um, and, it's, and then um, you can also, you can cheat in various items. Like, uh, if, uh, if I needed a certain, let's just say, uh, dryer limb. For example, if I needed dryer lint in order to open this portal to get to the next area, but I have no idea where to get it. I mean, there is I mean, not a whole lot of lodger mats and Planescape Torment, so I don't know where to go. So, time to head to the cheat, mate. Time to head to my browser. Go on, you know, Google Planescape Torment Laundry Lint or Dryer Lint. Type that down. Oh, okay, here's the cheat code to add that to your inventory. Do -do 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 -do. You know, ch -ch 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 -ch. There we go. I got dryer lint in my inventory. Now I can proceed. So it, cheating in the items is going to be a hell of a lot faster than trying to go on a strategy guide and getting what you need and saying, oh, you had to complete this quest and that quest and the other quest. And then at the end of that, or at the end of that quest, you'll get dryer lint. And then now you can, you know, you go through all the, jump through all the hoops to get the dryer lint. Then you can go open the portal and proceed. So it's a lot faster to just cheat the item in. And again, it it might seem I'm skipping a whole shit ton of stuff, but on the on the other side too, I'm also again, I'm also reading everything. But again, all this all this combined, um, again, I think people were leaving my stream because of this. So when it got to where it was practically a ghost town on my stream, uh, yeah, I I pretty much stopped streaming it at that point. But Sorry to sound like a broken record, um, but since all I've been pretty much been uh, streaming these days are idle games, you know, I'll as well fire up Planescape Torment. So yeah, um, uh, so yeah, um, starting tomorrow, unless I change my mind at the last minute, yeah, I think I'll um, I'll stream some uh, Planescape Torment. Of course, that also assumes that the game don't crash on my computer, so I might do a I might do a quickie dicky test run. Off stream, just to, just to see if it actually works. But, yeah. but again, um, barring incident tomorrow, tomorrow, um, look for me to stream Planescape Torment. So. Uh, but otherwise, um, that's gonna do it for me, everybody. Um, I believe I've said all the things that I wanted to say this morning, so I'll just. Go ahead and call it good. Uh, but, and um, I hope, and again, if you, 
again, this is the background is something I came up with just completely on a whim at the last minute while actually putting this cast together. So if you guys like it or hate it, um, let me know in the comments. So I don't. I might continue using this. Uh, I might not. I don't know. So we'll see you come tomorrow. So, but otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. Always do. And then um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and I'll see you all next time.